Tonight's homework is using the distributive property to simplify to simplify um, expressions. So let's get started here. On problem number two, we have eight and then times in parentheses 5h plus 9. What we're going to do is we're going to distribute the 8 to the 5h. So we're going to multiply 8 times 5h. And that's going to give us 40h. And then we distribute the 8 to the 9. 8 times 9 is 72. So it's going to be plus 72. And that will be my final answer for number two. Now I'm going to skip forward here, and we're going to look at problem number three. So let me just move, move over here. Some more. Okay. Now problem number three. We're taking 12 times 4p minus 2p. To do that, we do the same thing as we did in problem number two. We're going to distribute the 12 to the 4p, and we're going to distribute the 12 to the 2p. 12 times 4p is going to be 48p, um, and then 12 times 2p, and we have a negative sign, so that's negative 2p. 12 times negative 2p is going to be minus 24p, and that will be my final answer. And I'm going to pause, and um, I'm going to go skip down then to um, some of the problems down at the bottom. Now let's look at problem number six. In problem number six, we're going to use the distributive property, and then we're going to add our, or excuse me, combine our like terms. So the first thing we have to do is take 12 and distribute it to x, and then distribute 12 to the plus 8. 12 times x is going to be 12x, and then 12 times 8, 12 times 8 is going to be plus, excuse me, that's 12x, sorry, plus 12 times 8 is 96. And then, in my second part of the problem, I'm going to distribute the minus 3. This minus sign is very important because I'm going to be distributing negative 3. So minus 3 times x is going to give us minus 3x. Okay. And then I'm going to have to distribute the negative 3 to the plus 8. Negative 3 times 8 is going to give me a negative 24. Okay. A lot of students, when they distribute here, they don't look in front of the number um, at the sign. So they would take 3 times 8 and get plus 24. This negative sign tells us that it has to be minus 24. I'm going to skip down to problem number, excuse me, I'm going to skip down to problem below here. Let me pause it a second. Okay, now i got everything squared away here. Now let's look at number 8. We're going to combine like terms. So I'm going to combine um, all, all the things that are like. We have a 5, a 7x, a 2x, a negative 3, a positive 6. Com combine all these together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my first term, which is going to be the 5. I'm going to write everything that is like the 5. Okay? And this is using the cumulative property. So I'm going to go down over here. I'm going to write the minus 3. I've got to put that sign with it because it's minus 3. It's negative 3. So that 5 minus 3. And then I have plus 6. That will be grouping all of my whole numbers together. And then in the last, I'm going to group my, um, excuse me, I'm going to group my x's together. So it's going to be plus 7x, because the plus sign is in front of the 7, and then plus 2x. Now I'm going to use the associative property of grouping and then group my like terms together. Okay. Now go back and just solve. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 plus 6 is 8. 
plus 7x plus 2x is going to be 9x. Now, we can flop this around because I always like to um, put my variable in front. That's just one of the rules of our algebra. So I'm going to rewrite it as 9x plus 8. And I can do that because of the cumulative property where um, property of order. I can switch the terms around. Okay. I'm going to pause for a second. We're going to look at one more problem. Okay, let's look at number 11. We're going to combine our um, like terms just like we did in problem number 8. So I'm going to combine all of my x's together, then all of my y's, and then all of my whole numbers. So I'm going to take 4x. Now that's a positive 4x because there's no negative sign here. So it's positive 4x plus, and then I'm going to go over here, and then I'm going to combine it with the 7x. Now, I can do this because of the cumulative property, so I can change the order around. Now, I'm going to do my y, so it's going to be plus 6y, and then plus y. And then last, I'm just going to do my whole number, and the only whole number I have is the plus 6. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the associative property and group my like terms. So I'm going to group my x's together. And then I'm going to group my y's together. So we have 4x plus 7x. We have 11x. Plus, let's bring down my plus, and then I'm going to group my 6y and my y. This is really 1y. So if I wanted to, I could put a 1 in there. 6y plus 1y is 7y. And then I bring down my 6 plus 6. And then it's the, the expression is in the simplest form. Okay? I hope this helps you tonight on the homework. Um, tomorrow we're going to be reviewing the algebraic properties some more and using the distributive property and um, doing some factoring.